getting ready to make some of my soft scrub that I use to pretty much clean almost everything in the house. Um, it's good for your kitchen sinks. It's good for your bathroom. Pretty much anything you would need a soft scrub for. Um, if you have a pan that the bottom of it got really kind of gamey from whatever you baked or whatever you were cooking, set some of this in there, let it soak, takes it right out. Super easy to make. Um, me and my husband are working on making our home entirely chemical free and I think we've achieved that. Everything we make works really well. We're very happy with the results and we're not looking back. So I start off with Dr. Bronner's. I like to get the peppermint because it has a good smell. This bottle, you can see where it's at right now. We bought it maybe two months ago and we've already made two gallons of laundry soap out of it. I put a little bit in water and put it in my mop thing. Um, it's one of those squirty Swiffer ones. And that's what I clean the floors and everything with. Works fantastic. I make soft scrub with it. And we still have that much left. So this bottle cost us around $14, but we've gotten so much out of it. Well worth it. The two gallons of laundry soap I made, I made it the beginning of January. We're now mid-February. And I've got maybe a little over a quarter of the first gallon left and it's still the whole second gallon so it works really well um, i'll do a tutorial on that another day how i make it but i've recycled a folgers can and i put soft scrub on it just to make it easy for me to know it's not coffee <laughs> so i've already used quite a bit i have a little bit of paste left in there so what i'm going to do is put some baking soda in. you don't have to measure it exact just put some baking soda in however much you want. So I'm filling it to about here with baking soda. So the, so the Dr. Bronner's, you're just gonna squeeze a little bit in there and do it a little bit at a time. And what I do is take a butter knife and I mix it. And then if I see when I mix it, it's kind of clumpy, you know, it's not got enough liquid in it, I just put a little bit more Dr. Bronner's. And they make different scents. Like I got the peppermint because I like the smell of peppermint. I think it deodorizes really well. But they have almond, they have lavender. Oh my gosh, they have so many different scents, it's ridiculous. So I'm just gonna stir it with the butter knife. And again, the butter knife just makes it easier. So I just squirted a little more in there. It's still kind of chunky. So I'm gonna squirt some more. And once you do this, you just kind of eyeball it. and you, it's, it's really easy. I'm not a big by the book kind of person. I just like to do. So, so now I'll show you it's got more of a paste consistency and I'll put a little bit on my finger so you see what I mean. See how it's more of a paste now? That's with the Dr. Bronner's and baking soda. Do not add water because the water will react to the baking soda and you'll regret it really quick. It gets all fizzy and doesn't work really well. And as you can see, I barely used any of the Dr. Bronner's. I still have half a thing of baking soda left. I filled up this to about right here. And if it dries up a little bit, like let's say a few weeks go by, you haven't used it and it gets a little bit dry, just add a little more Dr. Bronner's, get you a butter knife and Mix it up, it works rather well. And I'm gonna show you on the sink. I'm gonna to have to pull the phone around, but I'm gonna show you how good it cleans because I, ha I haven't cleaned the sink for a little while. So the back of the sink's kind of gamey. So let's go here. Let me see here. I'm sure you didn't want that selfie, so. So there we go. I don't know if you can see how gamey the sink is here, but I've got my soap dish and we use this soap. I'll do a tutorial on it one day. We make it ourselves. Two ingredients, cleans everything. Uh, we do the dishes with it, our hands, our bodies. Works great. So if you can see, that's a little gamey back here. See stuff back there? So I'm actually going to take some of this. I'm just going to put it right on there and take my sponge. I don't know if you can see very well. And I'm just gonna work it around there. Super easy. I'm gonna go back here and do it. 
And you can use the sponge, your fingers. You can see the Dr. Bronner's like sudsing up there. I'm gonna do the back wall here. And that's from washing and you know, stuff just flies everywhere. Plus this is an old house. So let me go ahead and rinse this sponge and wipe that down and you'll see what a good job it does. I'm very happy with the results. My husband's very happy with the results. It's made cleaning so easy. And you can put some of this in your toilet, let it sit for a few minutes. Works fantastic. I have no complaints at all. So you can see on the back wall where I cleaned and where I hadn't cleaned. And that was just barely scrubbing. You know, if you went in there and really scrubbed it or if I let it soak, it would have came out a little better. Usually I'll leave it on for a few minutes. Like let's say I'm gonna do the bathtub. I'll go in there, put it on the walls, leave it. Walk off, go play with the dogs, go outside, go do something fun, and then come back to it. And nine times out of 10, you can actually just rinse it off and it's already taken care of everything. So that's it. That is the Dr. Bronner's soft scrub that we use at our house and it works fantastic. Like I said, one day when I get a chance, I'll do a tutorial on the soap. I gotta make some for my son anyways. He loves patchouli, he ran out, and patchouli smells up the whole house. So I just gotta get up the nerve to do it. But I make mine with no scents, two ingredients, cleans everything. Um, even greasy pans and stuff, we put a little bit of the soap on a sponge, scrub down the pan, gets it right off. Super, super easy. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll try to do more. Thanks, bye.